friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. So today I am going to do a wig review and this one is just gorgeous. Now I got this mainly because of the color. Like this is the caramel biolage color that I have wanted for a while now, especially for the summer that is coming up. So I found this on the Ebony Line website, and this is the Prime HD Lace. The uh, wig name is Shani, and this color is FFT Caramel Biolage. It is just gorgeous. Now, it's a long one. It's probably over 20 inches, and I knew that, and I know that I'm probably going to have to cut this down. So, um, this one is freaking stunning. Stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll see the out of the box, but oh my gosh. So, oh, this is a cis wig and it has a 13 by four inch free parting space. So when you put this on, you can part this in any direction and I'll show you here. And um, it has a pre-tweezed hairline, so pre-plucked hairline. This thing is freaking gorgeous. So here is the parting space. You can see that's all lace where you can part it in any direction that you want. Um, pre-tweezed hairline. And obviously you can see the finger through that and the pre-tweezed hairline. This is also a human hair synthetic blend piece and I one of my favorites from Ebony Line I can't remember the brand of it it could be a cis wig too but it is a human hair blend and I just love that one I wore that all summer long last year and it is one of my favorites so I definitely wanted another one so I'm gonna put this on and show you what this looks like um all nice covered wefts here. There is good stretch. Um, there are two combs, one on each side of the ear tabs. Oh, and one in the back. And then it has hooky do adjusters. So I have not adjusted the hooky do adjusters. Um, I do feel when I put this on for the out of the box, it was a little tight. So I might have to adjust that later. But uh, let me put this on for you. Oh my gosh, she is freaking gorgeous. Now, one thing, um, so normally I don't wear this kind of a uh, wig grip. Oh, maybe that looks a little better. Bring it down a little. So this is a the lace, I will say on this, so this came, I have cut the lace on this already. Um, the lace came down, you know, obviously here, so you had to cut it. Look at this. Um, the lace was a little dark for my complexion, which is fine. You know, a lot of it's gone anyway. But um, I also did tweeze the hairline a little bit more because you could see the uh, some of the knotting. Now I will say too, I normally don't wear this kind of a wig grip, but I wanted to see how this would look. And you can see the demarcation there. So um, what I usually wear does not show that. Um, so just FYI on that, that is what is peeking through there. I did also put um, some uh, powder foundation up under the lace there to have it more blend in with my own skin tone and then to cover some of the knotting. But this is freaking gorgeous. This color is freaking stunning. Now, obviously this is a little too long for me. Um, my gosh, I will probably cut, you know, all, probably all of this straighter piece off. Uh, but let me show you what this looks like from all sides. 
So that's the front, the side. This has probably got to be at least 20 inches long or, or more. The back and the side. Yeah, this color, so I got this for the color and it is just beautiful. Like, I love that you can part this in all directions. I usually part my hair to this side and with some training, um, it'll part no problem. And I also have been cutting in, so the human hair wig that I got from Wigshe, I also did cut in some face framing layers as well as a little bit of like bangs um in them and it looks really cute so i might do this with this one as well but i wanted to get this out because i want to start wearing this for the summer and i couldn't wait to see what this color looks like my makeup with this looks like great with this color oh my gosh so, like I said, you might have to train some of these bangs. Uh, to get them how you would like. I haven't put any water into this. I haven't really done anything. So, maybe what I will do is I will... So, I wanted to show what this looks like in this lighting here. This is my bathroom lighting. And maybe what I will do is I will take this off. I will play a little bit with this. Actually, I probably will cut this um, down. And I'll put it on a different wig cap. And show you what this looks like. But she is freaking gorgeous. And then I'll go into a different lighting in my uh, filming room. And you can see this in a different lighting. Uh, but yeah, just wanted you to see this and hold tight and I will be back. Okay, I am back. And you can see that I have this in a cute little pony. She's gorgeous. Um, so I did have to do a few little things to her. I did cut the lace a little bit more. Um, being that I have this pulled back, I might even try to uh if i was going to wear this in an updo i would probably glue this down at least on the sides but what i did is i trimmed the lace a little bit more i did spray some lace uh tinting spray i don't know if i've ever shown this but you can get this on amazon uh tinted lace aerosol spray medium warm beige is the color i got that comes out pretty light I don't know if you can see that in the coloring there, but it does come out pretty light. I do like using this. Um, the issue is, is that with a lace wig, it's really hard to get this on the lace without obviously getting the fibers as well. So, you know, I really haven't gone to the length of trying to protect the, the fibers really. So you can kind of see where some of that was sprayed but if you spray this and let it dry it will probably come off the fibers pretty easy but anyway so i did do that i did put some more uh powder foundation on the lace to kind of tint that even more and this is the result i actually am liking it i did put on a different wig cap and it's right there and so you can see the demarcation of that because it's sliding back on my own head. So yeah, I don't know. Um, this is a gorgeous wig. I think the issue more is, is the, the tone of the lace is the problem because, um, it doesn't really match my skin tone and then you need to, because it's the free part. Uh, well, okay. So what I did not do is I did not tint this up in here. So maybe doing that would help as well. Uh, or you have to use a full, you know, wig cap and secure that down in some way. Or, you know, using, 
you know, some of this melting tape, which I might do as well. Um, but you know, I think people, I mean, they're not going to notice that. I mean, they have to be really looking down on your head. I usually don't wear, you know, I usually wear these kind of wig grips. So, um, I don't think it's going to be that, that noticeable because I do have a different one on. So this is the result with it up. Now, um, I did cut this quite a bit. I did cut off the longer pieces but I might have to even cut some more because this is a long pony. Like it's really cute for the summer, but it's longer than I would ever wear for a pony. Um, I'll turn around so you can see what this looks like. And I didn't really like look to see what the back looks like at all, but she's cute. I love the color. Like, I want to make this work because the color is just so beautiful. So, um, yeah, what else can I tell you on this? Oh, I did find out that she is heat safe up to 400 degrees. So that is awesome. Um, like I said, I do love the free parting uh, space up here. The lace that makes things so much nicer. And you can part this however you want. Um, it is a human hair, natural mix, um, and it just says long. So it didn't even really say how long this was. But um, let me take this down and I will show you the length of this again. Yeah, and these, these waves here in the front make it very deceiving, like you don't know the true length of it. <laughs> um, I mean, this is a lot of hair, but I cut off, you know, maybe three inches or so, um, those longer pieces that weren't so wavy, and this is still the length of it. So I will probably need to cut some more of this off and I will probably do it while it's up in the ponytail, you know, and put it on a wig stand and like just keep cutting until I get to like a length that I uh, like. But yeah, she is gorgeous. This color is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, and actually I will do a update on this too. Um, I actually might cut in some, and I don't have a good comb here, but I might cut in some little bangs here, like kind of take some of this down. I probably will cut in some face framing, uh, pieces as well but I might cut in a few bangs here just to kind of see how that works Ugh. These fibers are so silky that it makes cutting them just so difficult. Cause, And I don't want to keep you on the video here while I play with this, but I will do an update on this piece um, so you can see the different things that I've done to it how I'm liking it, all of that. See, that's cute. Oh! oh, wow. I love it. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
That came out really dang cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh. So I might have to play with this side a little bit more. Um, these combs, these razor combs are awesome for this kind of stuff. All this hair is flying everywhere. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, I love how this side turned out. Oh, that is so cute. I love it. Oh, that's cute. Love it. So hopefully this information was helpful for you. Like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll take some pictures of this outside in some natural lighting. But yeah, I will do a follow-up to this so you can see what this looks like as I play with it and make some changes to this. But yeah, I think first of all, I'm going to put this back up in a ponytail and cut it some more so I can wear this. But these waves make it a little bit deceiving because um, I think it's longer than it looks, you know, with these waves. But yeah, I think I probably need to cut off maybe like an inch or two more and then it'll be fine. And I just love these bangs I cut in. Anyway, hope this information was helpful. Like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.